Hi everyone, it's Jack here from DesignMoto. In this video, we'll show you how to keep track of your website's downtime and get alerts if something goes wrong. In this example, we'll use the Pulsetic.com monitoring service because we've been using it for a few months and can see the current state of our monitors in our account. So let's get into our account and examine all of our monitored websites. We can add one more to demonstrate how quickly we can begin monitoring the website. We add a website by typing in the address here and clicking the Add button. We'll use YouTube.com as an example. Now we must wait a few seconds for the Pulsetic to establish a connection with our website for the first time. The website's up and running and the SSL certificate is still valid. Let's see what data we have on our website. We'll go with the Design Modo website because it has some historical information. When you click on the title, you'll see some technical facts about your website's speed and connection in the overview page. You can examine specific information by region in the location page to discover which one works better. You may see some useful statistics about your website response time, size and headers by clicking here on the green button. Remember that you can activate and deactivate any region you wish and that you can only leave the zone where your company is located. All issues Pulsetic found on your website are listed in the failed checks page. You can use this information to prevent future outages. When you want to analyze the region's downtime and avoid losing clients on the mentioned region, the presented data is useful. The alerts page, which is one of the most crucial tabs, is the next step. Here you may set up the alerts you wish to get when your website is down. You can add a few email addresses to receive alerts directly to your inbox. Pulsetic's SMS and calls alerts are included in all paid plans. You can choose to receive both calls and texts or just calls and texts. Remember, if you enter your phone number here and the website goes down, Pulsetic will call you, even if you're currently sleeping. You can also add alerts to a Slack channel, Telegram channel or private chats, among other things. And if you want to create your own alert, you can use the webhook option. The next option is advanced settings, where you can change the frequency, timeout and delays of your alerts. The General Settings tab contains some basic settings of your monitored website. Requests and Response settings are the following tabs. If you don't know how to set them up, leave them alone. These settings are only for advanced developers who can set up API or cron job monitoring. The last tab is the Delete option, which allows you to delete your website from monitoring. Keep in mind that Pulsetic removes all data they have about your website. That's it for now. It's time to start monitoring your website and Pulsetic offers a generous free package to get you started. I've been Jack from Design Modo, over and out.